Hey, what's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and uh, I really do hope you're, you enjoy these videos uh, that I'm making because I am actually doing a new setup. It's the same old kind of thing, you know, use uh, whatever, use a background while talking over it, but it'll have something to do with the game or whatever. So for example, this is Fire Emblem, so this whole video is Fire Emblem based. And so... Uh, this will be a Fire Emblem kind of wallpaper. I'm only saving the Neko Fluttershy kind of wallpaper that I have been showing recently uh, for podcasts and other random shit. So I do hope you enjoy this new setup. Because I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, it, it actually looks pretty well. It goes well with whatever I'm talking about. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. What's going on guys and gals, my name is William Clark, and welcome to a video, so I figured I might as well have sound in the background of me playing Fire Emblem. I don't know what music this is, so don't, don't bother <laughs> asking. Um, so, you kind of guessed it, I'm talking about Fire Emblem because I have music that is from Radiant Dawn, or not, not Radiant Dawn, uh, Path of Radiance. So... Fire Emblem is a, is a fucking amazing series, you know. I've played Fire Emblem... Uh, let's see, a couple years. <laughs> At least 2008 or 2009, I think. Uh, maybe even a little bit earlier than that. And what I love about the series, I know I've made a video as to why I like the series before, but I'm gonna update that shit because this is a better video. <laughs> now, the storyline of each game that I've played is fucking amazing and gorgeous. Long story short, a little spoiler alert for some of you that haven't played Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn. Path of Radiance, the story mode, starts out with Ike, uh, our new protagonist, training with his father, Grail who is the leader of the Grail Mercenaries. And, you know, long story short, he gets dragged into stuff, he gets dragged into a war against, you know, you know, with Crimea and some other nations, pretty much, and against, you know, also against the Lagoos, which are the animals that can turn into a cat, tiger, uh, lion, whatever, you know, birds even. Now in Radiant Dawn, they kind of expanded on that. Radiant Dawn is the sequel. Several, you know, it, it was placed several years later. Every character that you see in Path of Radiance is older, with addition to some new characters. And, and the story mode and st the storyline of Radiant Dawn is better in Path of Radiance, and it's even longer, I think. I haven't actually beat Path of Radiance at all. I'm on, like, Chapter 20, which is... This is the music you hear in Chapter 20. So if you want to know where Chapter 20 music... You know, if you want to know what music is this is, try typing in Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Chapter 20 music. I don't fucking know. Um, but the music of Fire Emblem is gorgeous. Yeah, I know I've not spent a lot of time talking about the storyline of Radiant Dawn, but I'm trying not to spoil a lot. But if you are still watching, then most likely you, you don't care. Uh, so Radiant Dawn, <laughs> oh my god, it takes place several years later from Path of Radiance. All the characters that you see in the game are older, more experienced warriors and fighters. And actually, if you have a memory card save of Path of Radiance on your Wii, you know, you can actually have bonuses. You can actually load up save data from Path of Radiance onto Radiant Dawn, pretty much. And that's what is the best part about Radiant Dawn. It adds features from Path of Radiance. It adds the characters and stuff. But you know, it, it enhances the stats. So let's say one of my characters, uh, my overpowered man, my overpowered boy, boy you know, Boyd over there. You know, uh, I'll show a screenshot of the guy. 
um, that I'm talking about. He's overpowered as fuck right now. But in Radiant Dawn, whoo, he is more so. Um, because his weapon stats, let's say I maxed out, you know, an S rank of his axe, right? He's an axe wielder. And when you upgrade him, he's also a bow and arrow user. He would automatically upgrade to double S rank. And I'm like, ooh, more power. So pretty much it enhances the game. That I think Radiant Dawn is, it has more of a story and it basically takes place on four sides. The first side of the game takes place with Makaya and Soth. Soth somehow is split away from Ike's group. Because if you remember, Soth was in Path of Radiance. And he was on the Stillway ship in uh, later in the later on in the game. Uh, but somehow he and Ike became enemies or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe they're I, I don't know. I mean, but they end up fighting each other later on. The second half takes place in a different, on an entire different area. And you have two other returning characters, Nefni, I think her name is, and Brom, fighting for a better, I think it's Dayan? I, I think it's, I, I forgot who's fighting who and where everybody else is from. But the Benyon soldiers are looking for the Dawn Brigade in the first part. The second part is they're trying to uh, make things better for, you know, their country. Part three, I think, is where Ike comes in. And you see his storyline, and long story short, they all meet up. Every character that you've ever played as, plus the new ones, are in there. As long as you have them alive, mind you, because that's one thing. Is that Fire Emblem, the suit that what I also like about the game, is it's realistic in the way that if one of your allies dies, that's not really essential to the game, it's not essential to the main storyline, you will get the ability to never play as them again. Yeah, that is the ability you obtain. The ability to never play as that character again throughout the entire game. So every move you make in this game can be a life or death situation for a certain character. That's what I love about it. It makes you think. It's a strategy, uh, turn-based strategy. But it's also an RPG because you level up and some of the characters are like an anime art style with weird colored hair and basically the overall design of them. And also, uh, later on in Radiant Dawn, after everyone comes together, you defeat the final boss. I'm not going to say who or what it is, because I don't want to spoil everything. <laughs> Just play Radiant Dawn, if you haven't already, and play Path to Radiance as well. Uh, but also, let's turn back the clock and go to the Game Boy Advance side of things. Fire Emblem Blazing Sword, uh, or Swords or whatever, is fucking amazing. And the entire series as a whole is fucking awesome. The music of the, you know, the main theme song from every game ever in the series is goddamn beautiful. It's fucking awesome. The overall combat system in every game is badass. You know, and it's unique in every game. Yes, you know, uh, Blazing Swords, uh, the Binding Blade, which I think was also a Japanese, uh, Japanese exclusive on the Game Boy Advance, and the Sacred Stones, they all have the same mechanic, you know, same 2D turn-based strategy. I mean, they all have that. They all have their turn-based strategies. You know, your, your blue unit is on you know, the left side and your enemy unit's on the right. But when it jumped from 2D to 3D with Path of Radiance, fuck! God damn! Some of the backgrounds of the game are so beautiful. So well done, well rendered, well everything. And when Radiant Dawn came out, that just multiplied things. And what I love about the series is not just everything I just mentioned, but there's more. 
some of the character dialogues, you know, some you know, some of the things with uh, the the bickering going on between friend and friend, you know, like it reminds me of when I was younger, and I, you know, some of my friends and I used to, you know, just not really fight, but just kind of tease around with each other, you know, just call each other names that you know we we know we don't mean, and you know, we're just having fun with each other. So that's why some of the dialogue reminds me of when I was younger. Uh, <laughs> used to, you know, friendly, you know, we used to stab each other in a friendly way with words and stuff, you know. It was fun, back in the day. But also, what I love about the game is, in, especially in the later ones of Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, there's the Lagoos, which I mentioned earlier, it could be cats, tigers, or whatever. Notice how I said cats. Cats are like my favorite animal, next to ponies. You know, I love ponies, but you, you don't see ponies in the fucking game. Well, pick a side, and there are uh, horse units that you can play as, but you don't play as an actual horse. Uh, you play as characters riding horses or pick a side. Now, one thing I do love about uh, is, uh, I mean, they mentioned this at the last BronyCon. Someone did a Q&A session with Lauren. Uh, Faust about this. The character in Blazing Sword on the Game Boy Advance, Florina, or Florina, whatever, I think it's probably supposed to be Florina. She is a shy, timid Pegasus unit, and she's got uh, light pink hair. Does that remind you of anybody, or any pony in particular? That's right. I love the binding, not, not the, the binding blade, I love, uh, the, uh, fuck, I get those three mixed up because they're, they all are on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, you know, the, um, Blazing Sword, Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I love that game the most out of all three of the Game Boy Advance games because of just that character alone. Every time I see her in the game or even in the ROM hacks of the, these Game Boy Advance games, I look at Fluttershy. And I'm like, hey, Fireball, it's you, in disguise, as a character in Fire Emblem. Also, uh, she, w she even looked better in Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, what I also like about Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, while we're talking, you know, Fire Emblem Heroes, is that almost every character that you can play as, on every game, is there. Marth, Roy, Ike. Lynn, Florina, every fucking character spanning across all the different games. And keep this in mind, they're still updating. So every new game, like the three houses, they could easily, which I've, I've never played, by the way, because I don't have a Switch. But, you know, they could add characters from the three houses in there. So, there's room for even more characters in your, in your party and in your roster. And uh, now what I, I think sucks is that there's only four players you can have at a time in battle. Whereas in, in other games, uh, you can have maybe eight or nine, sometimes ten, whatever. You can have more units. So you have to pick and choose. But uh, I also like the mechanic in back going back to the Game Boy Advance. I also love the arena side of things. And the arena is the exact same way as the actual battle. But you get a fuck ton more gold that you can use for your weapons, you know, in the armory and in, in the shop, pretty much. And, and the rules still apply. If your character dies in the arena, it's, it's, it's a gamble. If you don't make it out alive, you lose the money that you, uh, that you put into the arena, as well as your character. However, if you win, I think you double that amount. So, it's a gamble. Make sure you have the best possible units for the arena. And one more thing I should mention about Fire Emblem that I fucking love is the overall, just the care and patience that Nintendo puts into the game you know, puts into the series and the franchise as a whole. 
And the, with the inclusion of the Lagoos units, it adds a different mode of gameplay, pretty much. Yes, the same, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you beat, you, you try to kill your opponents and stuff. But, it adds different weapons and different strategies. Every new character you unlock, by talking to them, you know, by recruiting them, or in general, or hiring them in some cases, you have to be careful with these characters. Find out which unit, I and mean, that's, I mentioned this before earlier in this video, but I just love the strategy that you have to use in this game. You can't just go in blindly and just, I, I, I've, I've been doing this a lot lately with Boyd because he's fucking overpowered as shit. I made him that way. But, um, you know, let's say for example, Florina. You know, as herself. You can't just charge her into battle as she is. You can't just use a javelin against a fucking bow and arrow. Unless you're in direct in a direct combat situation. If you're in an indirect, then don't. Because you will lose. And yet it's another thing you have to mention and you have to take uh, into consideration. Some characters are weak against other units. So, these Pegasus Knights, they are weak against bows and arrows. Think about it like in Pokemon. Thunder, in an Electric-type Pokemon, destroy. I mean, fucking destroy flying types. So, that's what you would have to consider. Is your units. Anyways, guys and gals, this is why I fucking love Fire Emblem. And I really do hope that when I get a Switch, I will be able to obtain the, the three houses. Because, fuck yeah, I love Fire Emblem. Always have, uh, ever since I really, first, I, ever since I played the first game. And I always will be. In addition, uh, a lot of games, I don't know if all of them are made by the same people. I think they might, or not all of them, because the earlier NES days. But the, uh ports, especially on, I think, the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube and the Wii, are all made by intelligent systems, which are responsible for other games that I love. Now, it, like Peter Mario a Thousand Year Door. So, intelligent systems, thank you for helping Nintendo make a fucking beautiful game come to life, pretty much. And, uh, you know, it's gorgeous. It's a really fucking amazing game series, and I think you all should check it out. Give it a shot. If you haven't already, you will not be disappointed if you like this kind of series or this kind of genre. And that brings me to the end of the video. If you guys and gals like this video, give this video a like if I'm just fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro -ho. Boom. Such epic music. <laughs>